this is my favorite live image to date and bar none I can't find a better live disc that I enjoy more than Nopix and so it's always a great joy to uh, download a new version and have a look and see what kind of goodness they have to offer. Upon booting this you're gonna see that you are presented with the uh, LXDE desktop and a load of applications. So if you're new to Linux, you might want to try this out. Download it, boot off the disk, and try some of the many applications that come with this because this is pretty much going to give you a taste of some of the many things Linux has to offer. Uh, now, there is no way I'm going to be able to go through all the accessories and all the software and all the programs that come with this because, I mean, this is the mother load right here. And it's not sloppily put together either. There's a lot of good stuff in here for you to experiment with and try. Uh, a ton of games, a few different uh, graphics tools, web browsers, IRC clients, you can get online and I am your friends. I mean, there's tons of good stuff, but I mean, but, but I mean that's just that's just what you see on the external shell, but uh, there's tons of other things that this does too. Um, so when you download the, you know, Nopix live image before you boot into it, you probably want to read the, the coolest file that this comes with, and that is the cheat codes and hints for Nopix. This text file will give you all the different boot options, uh, and there's a prompt when it boots up before it actually boots into the desktop. So you can, you know, put in one of these commands and it will um, change its functions. For instance, if you want to uh, boot into KDE, you can, or GNOME, or ICWM, Fluxbox, Openbox. So you've got that ability too. It even has Compiz loaded in here, or with it started up, you can uh, initiate that yourself. You can define what screen resolution it will boot into, and a slew of other uh, things in here. So it's well worth your time to uh, read into this. Um, one thing no user should be without is a good rescue disc. And um, aside from Parted Magic being my favorite rescue disc, uh, Nopix comes in at a happy second place because every tool that you're going to need pretty much for um, repairing your system is bundled in here if you can find it <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in here okay um lots of tools and that sort of thing and something that i found really interesting about this is uh is its new installer that it has so you can pop in a, a usb stick and not only can you uh, install it to the USB stick, but it'll also set up a persistence on there for you as well so that you can use this. Um, and I also mentioned that it does uh, Compiz effects as well. If I uh, open up a terminal here and just do Compiz replace. Oops, can't type today. You're going to see now that Compiz is going to uh, take place here, and um, then you can <laughs> have fun with the special effects and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if the windows are... Are the windows going to wobble? I don't know if they will. Oh, yeah, they do, kind of. This is running in a virtual machine, of course, so, um, yeah. But you can see it's uh, got some pretty interesting stuff bundled in here for sure. Um, everything you could possibly think of uh, for uh, managing the system and whatnot. This is a perfect distribution for beginners to download and just try out and just play with these applications. Because uh, you know, if you want to get an idea of what applications you want to use on a day-to-day -day basis, 
I can't think of a better distribution to try out. So this is one reason why Nopex has been, you know, one of my favorite live CDs. I've always kept a uh, Nopex disc in my repair toolbox just to have it because I'll tell you, Nopex has saved my behind on numerous occasions. What can I say? And, you know, it's just great if you're bored and you just want to be able to play a game or, you know, whatever. You know, there's there's tons of really cool stuff here. <laughs> and, it, and it loads everything pretty quick, too, which you gotta love. So, <laughs> awesome stuff indeed. Awesome stuff indeed. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this other than the fact that uh, I'm just happy to see it again. Uh, my next show, I'm going to talk about... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. The Linux Underdogs is coming up. My first episode in that series. Uh, Kronos, one of the members of my forum, suggested I start a new segment where I talk about not so well distributions. And so uh, I'm going to have a look at Dev1. Uh, for those of you who hate System D. So that's coming up next. And if you have any show ideas, be sure to visit me at cupoflinux.com. That is the only place I read comments and respond to show ideas. So uh, be sure to check me there. And until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.